uh, just some pictures of Sydney and we'll see what was going on back in the 1800s. <laughs> All right, so here we are, um, Sydney. Now, this is uh, 1885. Sydney, this one I just found interesting, apart from the fact we've got dirt roads here. And see these humps of, like, dirt that someone's swept up? It doesn't look like horse poo, I don't know. I would check out what these ladies are wearing. Like, full um, Edwardian, is that what we call it, sort of fashion? And this is in Australia. Uh, you know, again, it... it you know, in Sydney, even in winter, it's it's not that cold, really. It's a bit chilly, but interesting fashion for, you know, a brand new colony um, that's still using dirt roads. Now, this one is some, one, this is just a random one. Someone sent me this picture. Um, and sorry, I, I don't have the name written down. Thank you, whoever it was. Uh, this is supposed to be in Australia. Pyramid the gateway doorway going into it and i don't know it could be the gimpy pyramid could be not real i don't know <clears throat> excuse me haven't really looked into it too much but it does look like a real photo so is that the gimpy pyramid and of course they they knocked the gimpy pyramid over last year to build a road and i'm not kidding that's what they do this is the australian museum in Sydney in 1872. So this is, uh, what's that, 94 years after Captain Cook turned up to a desolate country, as far as the narrative goes. And I've called this megalithic Sydney, this, this stream, because look at the size of this building. These are obviously people, horse and carts here. And I mean, only just over halfway up this solid bit of the wall, which then is, an, I mean, look at, that's a very big wall and very big building. Look at the size of these floors, right? They're massive. So, you know, Sydney, in my opinion, was found and um, just inhabited, cleaned up and inhabited. New people moved in. This is the Belgravia Hotel. And this, it says, and I'm going to look into this, but it says part of the Hydro Majestic Hotel Complex. That's interesting, isn't it? Hydro, water systems. Um, so I'm going to check out and do some more research on that. But this is a cool old building, got the Antiquitech going. But see how they've, it looks like, you know, they put all the, it looks like it's wooden kind of, you know, doesn't it, from the front. But clearly this is all masonry. And of course we have the wood out the front, which is clearly being put in at a later date. Uh, just a street scene, The Rocks, 1900. Okay, we've got these lamps everywhere already, old world buildings and, you know, an, an orphan maybe, a new inhabitant pushing a baby down the street on this little cool um, handmade pram. But just look at the infrastructure that's in here. Again, dirt roads and not, not really many people. There's two women up here. But looking a lot like a found um, a found city. This is um, Mrs. Macquarie's chair. This photo is from 1880. Again, check out the dress that they're wearing, the clothes, the fashion. Fashion, um, you know, very close to fashies, isn't it? And this, the story with this is um, that um, General Macquarie got, got this commissioned and you know, convicts, of course, made this, right? Um, so named by the governor on account, her uh, originally planned, blah, blah, blah. We finally completed on the 13th day of June, 1816. Now, look at the blocks. Look at, the, look at these are, uh, are old, massive blocks. Very big for uh, convicts to be, you know, shoveling around pushing around these, these ones here are even bigger and these stairs cut into the rocks here it's pretty pretty good work and of course they've chiseled all this in um yeah convicts carter's barracks uh, barracks of course everywhere 
and I was thinking there's barrack streets all over Australia. Are there barrack streets where you are? Because that, that, that's because there used to be a barracks, right? A fort, um, you know, what we're calling forts on it. And this one you'll see, they love to put these verandas on the front to change the look of the building. But clearly all masonry underneath. Again, look at the size of this building, megalithic. This one, oh no, this is uh, Chief Secretary's Building, Bridge Street, Sydney, 1880s. And it's a pretty small photo, but you can see there's people down here. And this is the, <laughs> the height of the first story, right? Like literally four or five times the height of these people. Right? Massive, massive masonry construction, still got dirt roads. And look at this fence. This is just wood with, um, you know, bits holding it up. And look at these little dumpy. This is what they could make, these little dumpy wooden hovel houses, which, again, are a lot smaller, right, in scale but to this building. Ah, some more orphans just hanging out in the dirt streets. Dirt streets, but we have rock gutters. Like, okay. Nice column there, but as you can see, this is a build out. This is 1885 uh, ish, and the whole street's built out like wall to wall built out. This is a shot circular key around 1900. And look at these buildings right on the, on the shore, they're huge, and you can see. 1900 this this whole city is it's just so built out right and again this is only 112 years since captain cook apparently turned up to a barren country what's that is that a ship here it is that's huge look at that ship there big steamship so uh 1900 this again tiny picture but you can see, look at all these buildings right on the shoreline, and they are huge. And I mean, this, it, it looks like it could be any, you know, city in Europe, apart from the fact that it's got the big bushels, bushels tea. Again, megalithic sized buildings. You can see this lady here doesn't come up to the top of the fence. And we've got this building here. And a build out all up the street. This one's got a few people in it, but. We get these, these um, electricity posts, shall we call them, but no wires, no wires going to this next one. And I see this a lot, this stuff around, when I'm, I don't know, I guess it's just a, a bit of the photo, the photog photographic process. Uh, this is, uh, so this one's just um, people, a crowd at Stanthorpe, agricultural show 1905 just got their horse and carts and what I find interesting is this this stand see how we got this like cut off pyramid here for the stairs and then we got two pyramids on the roof what's going on and maybe even a third one so I don't know interesting uh, but in the background all they can build are these hovel type okay. constructions uh, this is a water fountain in the street, Sydney, and look at this. Look at the work going into that. Brand new country. This one is um, 1924, so it's a bit later. But these things would have used to have been everywhere. And what's going on here? Is this some way of charging the water? Who knows? <clears throat> Using frequency, maybe. A bit of 432. Uh, fire station. So these are firemen. These are the guys who went around and set fire to everything, I think. Oh, well, you know, who knows, right? Who knows? They always turn up where there's fire. That's all I'm saying. Um, again, you know, street lights all in the, in the ground everywhere. This is late 1800s. And, you know, <clears throat> very nice old world brick building here. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, streets of Sydney, don't have a date on this one, got a horse and cart. The thing is, none of the markings in the facades, none of them have anything to do <coughs> with Australia. Here's another one, again, massive build-out, and again, these, these, 
you know, power poles, wireless power poles, because there's no wires. You can see down the street here, we've got a couple, but can't see any wires going between them. And we do get photos later, um, you know, from different cities where there's, it looks like they've connected them up and there's just wires everywhere. Um, here we have a belfry, or is that an airship landing dock? Who knows? And again with the street lights, man. These street lights are everywhere and they're oversized and they don't really make sense, you know, giving um, that we're told they would have been gas and then when they went electric, you know, we're told that, you know, the lumens, like the capacity of the light bulbs wasn't much. But then, you know, then we see the World's Fairs, right? Um, 1871, this is. George Street between Park and Bathurst Street, Sydney, 1871. So this is, you know, oh, this is less than 100 years since Captain Cook came. Uh, dirt roads, but, I mean, just build out, like literally wall-to-wall -wall build out all the way along. Uh, from an airship, here we go, airship, uh, government house, so this here, this castle, which it is a castle, that's government house, this is, so down here is um, Fort Macquarie, and this is after that, I think they've turned it into a tram depot, um, and so that was a star fort, like a citadel, and again, we get these, these have all been bulldozed, but look at these old world buildings again, you know, right on the shore, pretty much. And we see this, you know, all through Europe, especially like, um, you know, like Denmark and countries like that, this same, the same building pretty much and lined up along, along the water like this. And of course, you know, I mean, this could have been a, you know, a palace, what we would call a palace these days and all the grounds, because there's lots of um, you know, shapes and geometry in the ground around here. And of course, out here we have, you know, this is less than 100 years. They've got an island here that's completely built out as a, you know, it looks like a naval ship probably. But that as well, that has old world remains on it. We'll have a look at that a bit later. This, check out this. This is um, just a department store, Grace Brothers. <laughs> look at this. What is that? Group of people, 1885, again with the fashion. This dude has a very cool beard. But, you know, the, even this little girl's got a, um, what are they called, a parasol. This lady's got one to keep the sun off. But look at the clothes they've got on, like 20 layers. And are these guys tall? I don't know. They look sort of a lot bigger than this guy, this guy, and this guy, don't they? Not hugely, but bigger. Uh, 1866, dirt roads. And just, you know, old world buildings built out wall to wall the whole way down the street. You can see this one's got the Greco-Roman look on it, the pillars and everything. This thing here is just huge. And this is 18... 66 now okay so this one this is um they shipped in nitroglycerin is what they're saying and they stored it here in this building you can see this has all been blown up and it, it blew up so nitroglycerin okay this is mark foy building 1909 and again we have now look is there a wire there i don't know maybe one but they've got these poles and they're not all wired up uh, is, is that free electricity we've got tram tracks in the ground and again the, this fashion man <laughs> and where did it all come from because you can see they're all wearing the same clothes they're all all very very similar so you know where was all these where are all the fashion houses back in the 1800s again Oversized street lamp, doesn't make sense. Uh, this is 1893 and just completely built out, horse and cart, dirt roads. You know, these bollard things we see everywhere too, don't we? wonder what they were used for. Oh, there we go. That's what we're watching. <laughs> 
um, this is the gates to Centennial Park on people um, that looks like it's probably a war memorial now it's very interesting and I mean look at the size look at this person these bollards are almost as tall as this guy but look at this compared to him and you can see the build out in the background too I don't have a date on this one okay now this is what they tell us was going on okay so this is that they're saying 1872 and you know this is the story right that the new country we were living in bark huts wooden hovels humpies but that's not what we see this is what we see this is during a flood 1892 old world building obviously luckily on the high ground or at least the top of it is Something here is underwater. I don't know what that is. But this is what we see, right? These buildings. Again, oversized megalithic. This is entrance to the Colonial Secretary and Public Works Office. 1880s. Got the little guards. Oh, we've got Abraham Lincoln here. Massive, awesome, ornate gates. Got the pillars, but nothing to do with Australia. And megalithic, in my opinion, it's, it is. It's huge. This is a, uh, an old one. 1859 is the date on this. So, you know, this is very uh, pretty, you know, Australia is still pretty new, again, with the fashion. And this, this is not a wood house. This is a big masonry house. Now, I mean, is it possible it was cobble or something? Sure. Uh, it, doesn't, it looks like it's brick if you look in here. But do you think these people built it? Like there's one guy here. <laughs> um, street scene, Sydney, 1885. You know, more of the same. Got the fashion, got the huge building, you've got the dirt roads. And this again, you see it a lot like, um, looks like, you know, masonry paved, some kind of masonry, you know, footpaths sidewalks but but not the road that doesn't make sense um, some goats some goats 1885 and just masonry buildings everywhere trams Mosman and spit junction dirt roads like this is dirt and we've got these trams or trolleys, if you're from the USA, um, running through the dirt, right? Now we've got some, some lines hooked up, some, uh, you know, electrical lines. And you can see these trams are running off those. It's not like dodging cars do, basically. And they've, they've found their advertising already, right? The Herald, that's a newspaper. Got to, got to get out the programming. Uh, this is just Sydney Shore, 1880s. That's what it says. You know, who really knows? Kind of looks like a big ship. But I just found this bit interesting that these, you know, girls here, look what they're sitting on. Man-made rock shoreline. These, these are man-made blocks. So this whole bit is probably man-made. And this, you know, that's such a classic, like, uh, uniform, isn't it, for the young kids. And you see it everywhere. They all wear the same clothes. Where did these clothes come from? Um, this one, I couldn't find a name on it. Um, it's Archives, New South Wales. I'm not sure what the building is, but, I mean, all the features, right? Mud flooded. And again, megalithic. You can see a guy standing here in front of this massive door. And look at the size of the first level. Again, three or four times his height. Unless, of course, he's standing up the side here where it's about one. Um, look at this place with all the columns. Again, not not the the biggest picture, but you can see this is all columns, colonnaded, is that what they say? And horse and cart and dirt roads and the fashion and the umbrellas, the, the par parasols, sun umbrellas. Oh, this is another small one, but this is uh, Sydney, 1890. Look at this, is, uh, is this, oh, what's it called? Is it the Queen Victoria building? I think it is. That's still there. 
but again we get these light these electricity poles with no wires there's one here and one here and huge constructions everywhere uh, this most of this is gone now all these like terrace houses here these old world um, buildings they all got knocked down um, mostly demolished because um, this that's this is uh, Benelong Point so I think this is mainly just like a park now I'm not a Sydney cider so I'm not I'm not sure on all of these facts again megalithic general post office um, look at the size of these people compared to the size of this door and on the front here it looks like we've got some electricity don't have a date on this one but I mean look at look at the end you know this you know look, all, they all know they're in a photo right photo opportunity and here's another one of these poles this one does have wires so what's going on there this is just a random picture it says Port Jackson 1880s this looks a bit devastated you know is this that's a tree well it looks a little bit I mean you know it looks like something's happened here this is a water slide in Sydney at Ashburner Street and South Stain, Northern Beaches. That's pretty interesting. So we had a look and saw there was one picture in there of that house, that bark hut in the 1870s. So what I want to show now, this is just um, a search, Australian Housing 1870. And this is what we see, right? These, oops, bark huts. And they all have the, like these bark roofs with the wood tied on top to keep it down. Now, this one does look like it's a cob house. You can see here there's bits of wood and they've smeared it with the cob, uh, the mud. I think this is a tiny picture, this one, yeah. But you can see that like, these are all, you know, they've all got bark roofs at least and they're sort of hovel looking, but... Uh, this one here, you can see this is machined wood, these panels. This is, you know, they, these are, are weatherboards, basically, this wall. So they could get machined wood, but they had to put bark on the roof with just these poles, right? Looks like a setup photo to me. But this is what we're told. Now, some of them, you know, we have houses made of wood, you know, got Abraham here again. And, you know, yeah, they could have built with wood, you know, and this is also the right size, right? It's not oversized. But when we look at the cities, we get a completely different picture. But this is the story they want us to believe. And, yes, these are sort of more in the outback, but, you know, there's towns all through Australia, through the outback, that are just full of massive masonry buildings. See, they've all got these bark with the bits of wood on them. So they're trying to tell us, a story we do get a few um, this is a wood one a few better looking houses from that period but you know nothing that it, it's just such a juxtaposition right between um, these kind of houses and the cities and these are Queenslanders they're called because they're up on stilts because it floods um, just like it does where I am it floods as well so I just wanted to show you that this is kind of the story we're given and you never see these, you know, big houses. They love to show stuff like these tent cities. Everyone was living in tents. Bush Rangers. I'm going to get into Bush Rangers in some future videos. And Ned Kelly, there's a few questions to be asked there. Uh, and here we go. This is really what, what, what they had, right? And this is, I guess, what the controllers took. And, and probably all the bar cuts were for us, right? <laughs> so there we go. I'm just going to go Sydney. Let's do it. Of course, Sydney, Australia. And this is Sydney Harbour. They say it's the largest uh, natural harbour in the world. And if we come down here, we've got things like this is the Harbour Bridge. Oh, gosh, it's very annoying with this flashing. Are you guys seeing that? Let me check again. Are you guys seeing the flashing? Um... You can see it clearly. All right. Thanks, Hippie. Okay. I, <laughs> this, 
not easy. Okay. Um, Harbour Bridge. So this is where Fort Ma uh, Macquarie used to be. Is that right? Fort Macquarie. No, no, sorry. This is Dawes Point. Dawes Point Battery used to be here. That was, you know, like a citadel, like a star fort. Uh, this was Fort Macquarie. That was another one. And this is where the, the castle is, right? Government House is here. Okay, so this section probably won't last as long as I thought it would because it's really hard to... It's, my, my screen's just flashing on and off. Oh, but this, this is a castle. This is Government House. So what I wanted to show is all these points that pop out, they've all got old world... Um, infrastructure in them okay you can see this one down here let's see if we can get down here look at the size of these blocks they're huge this um, I mean this looks a bit crumbled around here but these are obviously smaller I'd, I think, I'm not sure what the deal is, but these ones, you can see to there, are massive, and then they've got these small ones next to them that they've built onto. So you see these remains, like, absolutely everywhere, and you can see on top here, you know, have got all these walls and things, or something there, but now it's just nothing, right? Um, you see this as well. I mean, there's just old world infrastructure everywhere. These are all man-made shorelines, by the way. And just looking at the shape, you know, of this, you know, coming in, all these points, right, just reminds me of Malta and other star forts that, you know, when you see them poking out into the into the sea. I don't know, you know. Uh, this is Clark Island. Again, this has man-made shorelines, right? And look at the angle here, right? This, to me, looks like... Um, those satellite, what I call satellite stars that you see sort of uh, going around the perimeters of the old star cities. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, so like I said, I'm going to have to do this again when I'm um, not live because uh, the whole screen is flashing and it's very annoying. But I did want to show you South Head. Now I showed this in uh, one of my other videos. I forgot what it was called, Doors point it was about um i think it was called star forts of sydney actually the link to that is below now this one you can see we have a, a lighthouse here painted up like a um you know like it's high voltage shall we say red and white but the interesting part is here now they, these turrets are all over the place in sydney at the heads they say that they were built for world war ii for cannons to defend against I don't know who but look what we get down here look at the size of these these are right angled blocks these are not natural okay look at the size of them all through here and you can see it's crumbling out of the wall see that these are all man-made blocks and look at these angles in here right what's going on well if we come here we can see these are individual blocks you can see the lines between them <coughs> excuse me um so did did they just break off and fall off is that why we get this here and that's what is down here right even down this i'm not sure what's going on but you can see all the lines across here and this is clearly some kind of you know it's it's different to the rock below it looks like some kind of flow or like it's been put there I don't know, it could be geopolymer. Um, but even down into the water, we've got these big these big blocks, right? These look like they've been covered, these two. So, I mean, this whole bit here looks like it's been covered with a slurry sort of, but who knows? But, yeah, look at that. Just old megalithic blocks. You can see the remains of, you know, the stone wall around here. Um, lots of damage up here, but... Biggest giveaway to me, apart from these right angled massive blocks everywhere, is this. This bit here. Very interesting. More blocks. And this this layer, layer on, on top of this, you know, natural layer. This looks like a this is very flat, this top layer, right? But this isn't sort of looks more natural. 
So it looks like they've put this layer on top to flatten it out. And you can see, look, there's just blocks everywhere, right? Here's some more of the wall going around here. So to me, and of course it's all raised up, it looks just like this is the remains of a star, right? Star, you know, don't like to call them forts, but, you know, um, those stars. <laughs> and so where am I now? Now I'm more confused. South Head. Okay, so th there's remains everywhere. There's remains up here at North Head. Um, I don't know what, let's look at that big sort of impression in the stone, different angles down here, but there is uh, remains, oh, where are they, of um, like the, the world, they call it all World War II uh, infrastructure, I can't find that one at the moment, <laughs> this flashing is getting very annoying, um, and there's another one I wanted to show, is this it? Uh, Bradley said, oh, and this is enough. I mean, all these points, right, they all got this old world infrastructure in them. And this one looks like it's still, yeah, so these are those turrets. You can see these circular bits and they're everywhere. And they say that they were for, yeah, cannon turrets, basically. You can see the levels here going up. Like this whole place down here, there's another wall. Like the whole harbour, all these, you know, peninsulas they all look like the remains of old world infrastructure I haven't looked at this one don't know where I am now because I think everyone's turned everything's turned around but okay here we go look at this so oh hang on what happened um I was just oh gosh okay I was looking down here at this bit here you see all these lines Pretty interesting this could be I don't know I mean there's stairways but you know who knows you put those in convicts no doubt look at this big bit of wall what, what what's the purpose of this Robinson's point lighthouse where's the lighthouse but there, there's look at this wall jutting out into the water what's the use of that um, but I was going to show oh there's a fort down here this is Fort Denison, there you go, looking very much, you know, again, these round bits. That That's actually a, a tower, a turret. But, you know, looking very uh, much like a st satellite star is what I'm calling them. Blues Point, another one with um, some weird, well, we get down here. You can see this is all man-made. And behind us, where is it? You can see over here, there's all the, this wall and tunnels and things going into it. Man-made shoreline. So I can't get a better shot there. I think I'm standing on what I wanted to look at. Maybe not. Um, but look at this big wall here. So all this infrastructure was supposed to be put in by convicts, you know, less than a hundred years. A lot of it, you know, Doors Point, um, the battery there, the old fort. Oh, what's going on here? Um, was supposed to be built the year that Captain Cook landed. Is no, well, is when they built the first uh, observa observatory there. But they they say they built a fort there within like ten years of Captain Cook landing, and it was a big masonry fort. But basically, that's what I wanted to show you is, and I'll do a separate video on this, because all these points, all of them, have all got remains, old world remains, all the islands as well, they're all built out, all got man-made shorelines like this one. And, you know, they just got, it just looks like those stars that we see, the ones that, you know, are irregular, shall we say.